Good day and welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on the 17th of August 2011. Let's start with a song, Oh for a Thousand Tongues, sung and played by Peter Schrock. Over to you, Peter. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Jesus, unique, majestic, wise, tender, strong, and lovely. That's my Jesus, whom I seek to serve and obey in every facet of life, every second of every day. I don't always achieve it, but I know that when I fail, I can ask for forgiveness, and he will grant it from his wellspring of gracious mercy. It's the Jesus whom I depend upon and personally know to be totally reliable in every way. When people let me down, they turn away from me, they discourage me, they think wrongly of me, they incorrectly assume my motives. This Jesus always picks me up, never turns me down, never turns me away, and he always encourages and embraces me. And all through each day, I know that Jesus has been dependable going ahead of me. Amazing. This Jesus who died on a Roman cross 2,000 years ago is the same Jesus who was raised from the dead without decay into newness of life and ascended to the right hand of the Father. This Jesus is coming back to gather us. There will be no kitschy kitschy coup factor this time. He's not coming back as a little baby to hold in our arms. No, Jesus is coming back as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. What does Jesus look like now? He's described by one of his beloved followers, John, in Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 to 16. Among the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and coming out of his mouth was a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun, shining in all its brilliance. That's the ascended Jesus Christ, as portrayed by his good friend John. Are you suffering today with some illness? Or are you in the middle of a, a period of grief? We all suffer in some way, don't we? Back in 2003, I myself had a stroke and recovered. And I still get aches and pains. But one day, one day, 
you and I will have perfect bodies. God suffered and died on a cross. And so we have a God who has sympathy with us in our own suffering while we are in this world. Jesus is coming back and he will do the most extraordinary thing. Revelation 21 verse 4. He's going to take your face in his hands and he's going to wipe away your tears. Wipe every tear from our eyes. Isn't that just the most amazing scene? The most amazing verse of scripture? An amazing verse. Picture it. Jesus Christ taking your face in his hands and wiping away your tears. Tears of suffering. And you will say to yourself, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. The trials, the temptations, the sufferings, and the experience I've had for the sake of Jesus Christ, my Master. And now let's have a song. It's Margie Reese, and here comes Jesus. Just when you are thinking about giving up, you've tasted your last sip of life's bitter cup. You can't find a friend to understand or care. If you'll just look up, you'll find Jesus standing there. Here comes Jesus, walking on the water. Here comes Jesus, he's calming the storm. Here comes Jesus, making life peaceful. Here comes Jesus, bringing everything back to normal. Now like a roaring lion, roaming to and fro, Satan is killing and stealing as he goes. Everything God gave us through Jesus, his son. But 2,000 years ago, the victory was won. Here comes Jesus, he's walking on the water. Oh, here comes Jesus, calm in the storm. Here comes Jesus, making life peaceful. Here comes Jesus, bringing everything back to normal. Jesus is bringing everything back to normal. Who is your Jesus? Maybe you're struggling to make some major decision and you don't know what to do. Seek the wisdom of Jesus in making that decision. He will help you if you ask. It may well be that feeling desolate, abandoned and lonely. Or you may well be in your... You're feeling tired, exhausted, drained and burdened and in need of help. Allow this Jesus to give you the strength to endure. Give that burden to Jesus and let him take the weight for you. Let Jesus wrap you like a warm embrace, encompassing you with loving compassion. We now have a time where you can offer your own praises and prayers. Let's pray and praise together. Father God, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children, for we ask them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Amen. We close today with a sung doxology, followed by a brief closing prayer. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him.
May the love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Wednesday Worship. See you again soon.